Hey, we're back on the Good Morning Artesia radio show, and uh, Leah is here from Central Valley Electric Cooperative. How are you doing today? I am great. I'm well, good. Great. How are you? You know, um, we just go from one event to the next, you right? know? <laughs> <laughs> one person to the next. Oh, let's see, I've got four things I have to fix when I get done. Okay. I'm trying to find somebody, and I finally got an email address. So I think I'm going to hunt this person down. What are you trying to fix? Well, no, I have other things that I'm fixing, but then I'm also trying to hunt this person down. Oh, okay. I want an interview with them. Oh. And their former Artesia resident. Okay. And the last time I talked to them, it's been three, four years, mm -hmm. and they were coaching someplace in oh, the I heard Midwest. you talking about that the other day. Yeah, yeah. and so I, so I have an email address uh -huh. now, so I'm going to try to... Uh, Are you stalking this guy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, Gene. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this done. So, Hey, let's talk about uh, stuff at, at uh, CVE, and you wanted me to bring up this beautiful picture of the Green Mountain Energy uh, logo. Green metal. Or I'm sorry, yep. I, I want to say mountain and I don't know why. I don't know, but it kind of looks like a mountain, but it, it also looks like a metal. Yeah, so. <laughs> Green Metal Energy. Now we've, we've heard their name before because yes. you've talked about home energy audits. That's correct. So what did these people do that you want to talk about? Though? So about three years ago, there was, Green Metal Energy has been around a lot longer than we've been using them. So. I want to say literally three, three and a half years ago, they were out there on the market and Excel was using them for their home energy audit program. Well, at that time, we weren't contracted or involved with them. So unfortunately, we kind of had to say, no, we're not. But we've since learned that Excel recommends them with you know great regard. And uh, when we were looking for a new provider, we made contact with Green Metal Energy. And again, they have done them amazing job. We started working with them last December and uh, really couldn't do a whole lot until then because of um, contractual issues and as well as COVID. But once they got in there, they just started full steam. And last week they sent out some postcards to both XL customers and Central Valley Electric members. And we had a few phone calls, you know, wanting to know if it was legit. And this time it is. This time we are certainly involved with and we are using Green Metal Energy. They have one of the best teams of people serving this area that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. So they, I know we've talked about it a hundred times, but fall's coming, winter's coming shortly after that. Why not weatherize your house? You know, why not get it ready so that you're not losing all that cold air through your, your doors and your windows? And they'll check all of that. So. And if you're a uh, member of mm -hmm. Central Valley Electric yes. Cooperative, a residential member, yes. how much does this home energy audit cost my favorite word to use is free <laughs> but no cost okay home energy audit is another way that we can say that too i know you say that and then mm -hmm. people say okay you're, you're doing the no the, the no cost home energy aud audits how much do they cost it's yeah. no cost <laughs> home energy audit well uh, there there's a couple of steps involved the first is the blower door test so they seal off your home to see where you might be losing air and it might not be just your doors your windows it could be through your fireplace it could be through your switches it could be in your um you know things under your sink any type of holes that you might have here or there mm -hmm. and then they go in and patch those up fix those up put the weather stripping put on your new door sweeps, whatever it takes. And then they check your duct work with a duct blaster test, which is kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Seals off your duct work to see if you might have any type of, um, again, tears or penetrations in your duct work area. And then they seal all that up. So the whole process, depending on the size of your house, takes about two hours. Okay. But it is so well worth it. And so, and well so the it. postcards they sent out mm -hmm. was for XL and CVE members. They to sent call? them to everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Yeah. Okay. I I didn't get one, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, I don't know what kind of list they get because they don't get the list from us. So well, that's good to know. Yes, they don't get a, a mailing list from us. I think maybe I, I don't know how people do it. I mean, I get stuff all the time from right. companies, and I have no idea how they got my address. Well, you're on a list somewhere, and they bought your yes. they bought the list that has you on it, and right. so. Uh, emails big about that too. But we did not give out that information to anyone and I do appreciate the customers and members who've called to say or to inquire whether mm -hmm. or not it was legitimate because our members really look out for each other and I think that's great. 
Okay. Yeah. So if you got a postcard, it's legit. Yep. If you're and it di- will have that logo on it. it the the one that uh, that we're showing on the screen right yes. now. So that's mm-hmm. that's the logo. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good to know. Yep. You didn't want me to ask you about this one, did you? In the newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to talk about safety on the farm. <laughs> it is um, Farm we, Safety Month, okay, so why all not? Right, let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, the only reason I ask, it's in your newsletter, mm-hmm. and it's increased fuel cost adjustment, mm-hmm. and you have mentioned in the past when there's peak energy days yes. to help, you know, keep the uh, the things under control. But just briefly what is the increased fuel cost adjustment this one is in particularly talking about the freezing weather that we had in december okay and it wasn't until about february that they were even able to get things figured out because and we know we had those outages we know we had you know below zero temperatures for days and days Um, we know that people were out of electricity for days but we were still having to purchase power Mm -hmm. and we were having to purchase more power during that time frame just like the folks in texas were but that just wasn't there wasn't the capability or availability i should say for those folks so they had it a lot worse than we did thank goodness you know we were working with our western farmers electric cooperative We were able to get as much power as we needed. I think our longest um, outages were maybe an hour and a half, 45 minutes here and there. And we were having to shed some load, Mm -hmm. which, you know, taking, you know, portions of of a substation and turn it off for a little while so that people in that area had to go without power for a little bit. So because of that increased purchase, after all was said and done with that in purchasing power from Western Farmers and with XL or SPS, Mm -hmm somebody's got to pay for that so thank goodness there's been so many people working on this there's been attorneys there's been you know chuck and mike and the board of directors and everybody's been trying really hard to make that fuel cost not so expensive to everybody and spread it out over a period of time so you are going to see a positive number as the fuel cost adjustment this past month Maybe future months, we're still not sure because every month it changes. But usually it was a negative number. Mm -hmm. And you would see, you know, maybe a 10 cents come off of your bill or maybe, you know, even more sometimes. Okay. Right now we're at a positive. So it could be that you have an addition, additional 80 cents or an additional dollar, you know, whatever it is. But it's um, per kilowatt hour. Okay. So it, it can get, and I'm and I'm just using numbers. It could be 0. 0.08 cents or 0. 0.07 cents. I'm not I'm not really sure because it, like I said, it changes. But mm-hmm. we're trying to to hustle and and pay back as much as that as we can. Of course, the co-op takes the majority of that hit. They take the majority of that payment. But um, you know, it it's got to be. But collected. this is not like a permanent rate increase or no. something that we're going to see. No. So you got this big bill, basically, yes. the utility did. Yes. And so it's just going to take a little bit from all the members over the mm-hmm. next few months or whatever to get that paid off. Right. And we've been doing publications since February about this. We had a you know, front page on the newsletter, um, up again to front page on the newsletter for last month mm-hmm. so or for this month. So we're trying to make sure and educate people. But I did learn last week in talking to a couple of people because we've had a lot of calls about bills. That um, if you get your if you get your bill on Smart Hub, you're not seeing our newsletter unless you're signed up for our email newsletter. Oh, okay. So that communication isn't getting to everybody. So if you use Smart Hub, which we've encouraged people mm-hmm. to do, mm-hmm. you still need to sign up for the newsletter. That's right. Okay. That's right. And um, they're all on our website too. At any point in time, Raylan posts every month. She'll keep a year at a time just right there to click on. Mm-hmm. And that may not be the first thing on people's minds, but if you have a question about something that you're concerned with on your bill, it might be you can find it on the website. Okay. Yep. Well, that's good. And and it is safety on the farm. Um, let's go ahead and mention that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's National Farm Safety Month. Okay. So, um, we haven't had a chance to do a whole lot with our farmers um, as far as training or education. But one of the main things we do try to talk about is their large equipment, just like in the oil field. If you've got large equipment, you're using it on the farm, be careful, look out for those power lines. And uh, of course, give us a call if you do need to go under them or past them or whatever the case might be. We don't want people trying to lift those lines on their own. Mm. And uh, it's it's happened a couple of times, not not with our folks, but we read those stories where 
people take it upon themselves to try to move those wires to get them out of the way for equipment. And that's just, to me, that's like a, a death sentence. I just, I'm in a hurry. I yeah. need to do this. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not calling the co-op. Not calling the co-op, call but, co but you guys respond pretty quickly. <laughs> oh yes, to yeah. these situations. So yeah, I don't know what all. I mean, there's augers, of course. There's combines. I mean, all kinds of besides just tractors. But there's a lot of things that are big and tall and can't always. Well, and I think too, farm equipment over the years has just gotten bigger in yeah. general. As it's gotten more sophisticated and more mm -hmm. complicated and does more things. Yes. So you know, it may have been that when that line was run you know, 20, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. it, it accommodated most things, but now with the newer equipment, yes. uh, uh, that'd be something. That's that a very good point, Gene, because some of those farms were built, uh, those power poles were built in the 30s, 1930s, and that whole design was built back then. And of course, design is much different mm -hmm. these days. So that's a good point. We have a question. Okay. What's the question? And uh, the question is, ask Mrs. Boone. Oh, okay. <laughs> what happened to the head lady mannequin on the north side of the old building? It was a fun sight for me. North side of the building? Of the old building. The there mannequin. A, the mannequin. Was there a mannequin or something in a window on the? We had um, LED Lucy. There was a, a board. Okay. And it was a lady that had a a light bulb on the top of her painting, and it was an LED. Okay. And she had bling on her shoes and real pretty. And then we had CFL Charlie, who was kind of right next to to her. Okay. So your CFL light bulb and your LED light bulb. We've since um, archived. CFL Charlie and LED Lucy hasn't come out in a while. So it's I'm the only one I can think of. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, she she said, "What happened to the head lady on the north side of the old building?" So um, unless there was something outside, and and I I mean I haven't <laughs> been there as long as some people. I'm wondering if it's so. LED Lucy. It could be LED Lucy. Yeah, so we L had her out in the foyer, and she's in storage now. No, LED Lucy's she's live and well, but she's just taking a break. Okay. I don't wait a minute. I maybe I don't understand. <laughs> CFL Charlie is archived. Okay. Yeah, we don't use C, we don't we don't encourage people to use CFL bulbs. No, everything's LEDs. Everything. Yes, yeah, so LED okay. Lucy, she'll come out in October. Okay. Yeah, for member appreciation and all okay. that kind is of stuff. Okay. Is this a costume? It's just a big platform. I mean, oh, she's, okay. she's on this gigantic piece of wood that Raylan <laughs> cut out and painted and <laughs> She looks just like LED Lucy on the advertisements for mm -hmm. Touchstone Energy and things like that. Okay. <laughs> but if there's something else, like a real mannequin, I don't, I don't know anything <laughs> about it. Okay. Well, hopefully that, hopefully that is what we're talking about is uh, LED Lucy. I would. That's the only thing I can think of. She's. But really, it's not a costume. It is not. But we did do uh, one year when we had the. Well, you were. Were you there for our 75th? anniversary whenever we had that at the old building i think so and we did the the balloon mm -hmm. and we had yes a, yes i remember that okay yeah, and we had a character that time too which i think was cfl charlie okay at that time but that's the only type of mannequin situation i can think of <laughs> <laughs> maybe somebody at the office who's been there longer than me could tell can, you can, but can remember i don't know <laughs> yeah well, so, uh, well um um my mind's gone blank. Uh, from the cha Jessica from the chamber sent me a picture from like 97, 98. Mm -hmm. And uh, it had the original, I say the original, had the old Artesia, uh, First National Bank of Artesia yes. sign and logo before mm -hmm. they went to the flowing main horse that they, yeah. they've been using for a number of years. And uh, it's just kind of weird to look at the old pictures and see what uh, what we thought was interesting back then. Mm -hmm. So, I know, and I've been banking with them for 25 years, mm -hmm. you know, from First National to First American and whatever. But yeah, that's yeah. The the, the horse wasn't always their no. their symbol. They had another, well, it had an A in it, you yeah. know. And I just can't even. I can't remember what yeah, it looked like. It was but. in the, it was in that picture. So, <laughs> well, let's let's hope that answers. Uh, uh, Ms. Franco's question there about... Yes, Ms. Franco, I'm sorry if, if I didn't give you the correct answer, but L.E.D. Lucy's the only gal I know of. That's Well, that, that makes sense to me, Yeah, L.E.D. -E Lucy. So, <laughs> Well, good. Anything else uh, going on? I think that's it. Okay. Um, just uh, 
if you have questions about that home energy audit or if you want to sign up, I believe the postcard has a phone number for you to call Green Metal Energy directly. And then they're really good about getting back with us to make sure that they qualify, mm -hmm. to make sure that they are a customer of ours. And because um, they have two different billing components. So if you want to call us, if you want to call them, either way is fine with us. Okay. So excellent. That would be uh, that would be good. Yeah. 575-746-3571. And our website is cvecoop.org. All right. Put your other hat on for a second. Okay, let's do it. How's the green chili cook-off or we, challenge? I, I think we have two more competitors. Okay. So that would bring us to five. Okay. I know, um, I know of one team who's already got their permit. Mm -hmm. The second team was submitted friday okay so they're waiting for their permit and then i got a call from a friend of mine yesterday and they're going to turn theirs in hopefully today okay so and then we already had two teams signed up before that so hopefully that gives us five teams okay and i really have not been good at, at advertising this because i just haven't had time but um i know jessica and Haley talk about it and it's on the chamber website and mm -hmm. all of that. But September 18th is going to be a fun day for the Green Chili Cook-Off. And that's not this Saturday. That's it's next Saturday. Yeah. And there's going to be uh, music. <laughs> there's going to be people come out and sample mm -hmm. the uh, food items from these different competitors. Right. I'm sorry. I got all choked up. That's okay. <clears throat> and then you'll get to uh, vote on your yes. favorites amongst the, uh, the different folks. And then mm -hmm. I think you mentioned yesterday... We brought it up with uh, Haley and Jessica. Kith and Ken is going to be vending? Yes, they're going to be selling okay. that ice cream okay. and cookies and the green chili latte. Okay, because they, they had those at our little challenge yeah. that we did over there. And, yeah, so and they'll be selling those in case somebody needs something cold to drink or hot to drink or whatever. We, we will have, <coughs> excuse me from the hotel mm -hmm. but other than that we we don't have anybody signed up to do a beverage so okay yeah very good so get some of that green chili ice cream yeah they're not they're not competing yeah that's but, right but it is there for everybody to enjoy september 18th 12 to 6 music is from 2 to 5 and prizes will be given at 5 all right yep thank you thank you very much all right that's going to be it for the show today we'll see you back here tomorrow